Okay, guys. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna share a brief um ways on how to install Cognito form and import files directly from your Insta Builder, uh, from uh 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 exported uh file from Insta Builder to your own Insta Builder account. Very easy. I will do a demonstration that right here. You understand it. So let me share my screen so we can see what I'm doing. And go ahead and share my screen. Oh, you, you, you. I think so. Oh. Okay. One minute. Let me do something. Hold on, I don't know what's going on, but let me just figure out some things. Hmm. We are still here, we are still here. Sorry for the inconvenience this is causing you, but we're gonna still do it. Still gonna do it. Yeah, I hope you all can see my screen. This is my um, screen. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to install. Uh, you need to log into your, um, uh, this stuff. These are WordPress, your WordPress account. Oh God. <laughs> Login. So very easy, very easy, very simple. And another thing, always try to test new things. Very important. Do not just uh, rely on people or relax and um, you know feel comfortable. Just try try to explore new things and um, try as much as possible to see where it's working and uh, focus on where it's working. Solo, go to Insta Builder. I've not started the process yet. I'm just trying to log in. Need to be fast. I don't want this video to be long. Okay, so let me just pick something. Hmm. God, this is low now. Okay, yeah. So the, let's say this is your sales page. It can be any other sales page. This is a, a sales page for arthritis product. Um, still pure product. I know you'd be surprised on the on the on the happy body stuff. It's just a marketing name, but it's still pure product I'm selling. All right. So let me just. What I'm trying to demonstrate is how to install. Um, how to install. Cognitive form. Just I'm having some challenge network. Just you need to load everything here needs to load so that you see everything that I'm doing. I guess you people know how to do this. Very simple. Just drag and drop system. Drag and drop. You build up your website. Oh my God, oh, what's, what's wrong with this? Let me just show you something from here. Okay, that is it. 
So let's say you have already built your website for you to have already built your sales page. Then for you to add from, you have to drag this. You can see here it's written HTML slash CSS slash JavaScript. You need to drag it and put where you want it to be. Then there's all called alignment. If you want it to be by the side or the center or at the corner, depending on where you, you want it to be. But for me, I like it to be at the center. But you can still choose whatever is okay for you. Then after that, you have to, uh, first of all, you need to build uh, your, you, you must have built your form. But I'll still going to do a video on how to build form. So let, let, let me just show you, after building your form, but I'll, I'm not doing building form now, but let's say you have built your form and, and then you want to install the form to your website. You click on post, you go on post and click on add new. Let's just wait for it to load. I don't want this video to be long. Network, please help me. Okay. Okay, yeah. Once it, um, it loads, you will see a cognito form symbol here. You can see it, cognito forms. You click on it. But after building your form, you allow it to load. You must have known your form name. You must have known your form name, the name of your form. So if you click here, the drop down of all the form that you created will appear. You can see I have a form called fill the form now, fill the form, fill the form to buy happy body, fill the form to buy smart bulb. These are the forms I've created in this uh, cognitive form account. So the one I'm choosing for is the organic software. You can see it here. I'll click on fill the form to buy happy body. You have to give your form name so that you won't get confused when you are here. You click here, then you click insert form. Then a code will appear. You just copy the code. Just copy the code, copy. Then go back to your WordPress. Then you click on um, edit configuration. If you click on edit configuration, then you 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 remove you remove this place from edit to code. You will see a small dot there. You just highlight it and remove it. Like I say now, then you now paste your code. Your the code you copied, you paste it here. Once you do that, you do like this. Then you save. You save from here. You save. After saving, after saving it, you test it. <coughs> Let me show you the form. Let me, I just want to show you the form. Okay, can you see the form now? Can you see the form? The form have already appeared in my website. And mind you, form should be the last thing that you will put in your website. Yeah, form should be the last thing you should put in your website. Do not put any uh, 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 form first because if you do that, you have so many forms in your website. So uh, what I mean is that the form will not be arranged as in it will not look cool. So form should be the last thing that you, in, you put in your website after building your pictures, adding your uh, Facebook pixels and so many things. Form should be the last thing you should do. Form should be the last thing. Very important. All right. So let me go ahead and show you how to build the form. Oh God, let me take a call. I'm coming. Hello, bro. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Sorry, yesterday I was in I was in an event, so I couldn't pick up your call because it was very noisy. I can't hear you. I know that. Yeah. Like that. Sorry. Uh, this thing we have uh, I send it for Okay. I will send you money, Abi. Yeah. Why? Well, okay. Fine. Okay. No problem. Right. But the, when we, when will we, I can get to Lagos? Okay, no problem. So maybe by in the evening time. In the evening time, by 
No, no, no. Ah, like 24 hours. Wow. Okay, Lagos to Kaduna is very far. That's very, very, very. Wow. Wow. Okay, no problem. Uh, thank you, Bella. Thank you. All right, um, let's continue. Um, let me show you how to build form. Then you click, if you want to build form, you go to your cognito form, click on it. We allow it to load. Then you log in. Sorry, I have so a lot of things distracting me here, but I just focus. You log in. You need to log in to your account. This is this account. I'm logging it. Okay, see, so this is how to create form. You can just click on uh, start from scratch and, um, you know, try to do it, you know, anyway. You can just, this is how to create form. You can just do start from scratch or you, you better, the better one is just to copy an already existing form. Why should you copy an already existing form? So that it will be easier for you. All you need to do is just to edit uh, things. Like, okay, let's just copy already existing form. Copy a already existing form so that it will not be hard for you. Just you know, this has already existing form. Okay, but I need to teach you how to start from scratch. Why? Right? Because if you are creating it for the first time, you might not have form in your account. So you need to learn how to start from scratch. Okay, let's just go from start from scratch. Then if you learn how to do start from scratch, then you all you need to do is just create a uh, copy from already existing form so that it won't be hard for you. Let me just do start from scratch. Click on start from scratch. Then you give the form name. That's where this is where you give the form name. Where you see title, you can say anything of your choice. That's the name of the form. Yeah, this is where you give the form name. Then this is then you start building. You can see the plus sign. This is where you start building how you want your form to look like. If you click on it, it uh, it brings an option. What do you want to put? You can just put an option of name. You understand? Then uh, it, it has already brought that name and last name. Uh, you can, if you want to add middle name, you can just put middle name. If you want to add uh, title, you can just put it, but it's necessary. It's unnecessary. But the, the, you can just put middle name. But the most important one is the first name and the last name. Then um, this is. Uh, Always show field. This means that this form will be showing this field. Then it required this field. What this thing means that um, um, before any customer will go to your thank you page, they need to fill this thing. You always put it at all. You put it at always. Require this field. You put it at always. Then read only. Read only. Not you put it at never. Custom error. Put it at never. Then move to the next one. Whatever, however I want your form to be there. If you want the next thing to be address, you click on address. Then this is where you do some editing because we have a whole lot of information here. They need to remove poster code. You don't need it. You need to remove um, line two, address line two. You don't need them. What you just need is address one, city, state, and country. Then you now configure the country to Nigeria or any country you want to uh, sell. If you, want, if you want to do Nigeria, Ghana, depending, you just configure the country to Nigeria. You see? So anybody that uh, comes here, normally will see this thing configured with Nigeria. The person you don't need to fill Nigeria again. You have already configured it for him or her to fill. So that's it. Then you do what I just told you. Always, people should always fill this form, required always, uh, so that uh, uh, people will not leave it blank. Yeah? You just leave the other one as never, never. All right, so the next thing is uh, move to the next one. This is how to build form. Then if you want to collect um, emails, you click on email. Click on email. Yeah. Do it the same thing, everything is the same thing, always. You don't need 
Yeah, just leave it like this. You understand? So this is the email. Then the next thing is phone number. Then you put on phone number. Then you start building. So it's very, very easy. Just remember to put it as required. Very important. Then the next thing is, if you want to collect two phone numbers, it's up to, it's up to you. If you want to collect one, it's up to you. The next thing is, uh, if you want to add prizes, like let's say people to have option to choose um, whatever you are asking them, then you can see choice here, right? If you can see choice, you click on choice. Then if you click on choice, we we'll have so many uh, types of, uh, of uh, then remember to always type uh, this choice, you can ask them, how many products do you want to buy? How many bottles? You know, these are, you know, the portion will be on the top of the, uh, of the form column. Anything right there will be on the top. It can be uh, how many bottles do you want to buy? Uh, this is anything. Just ask them questions for them to take action below. Then if, uh, you have to choose how your form should be. If you want it to be a drop down or a radio bottom, this is how radio bottom is, or, or, or check boxes this is how check boxes is so the, whichever way you want to put your own then lay out if you want it to be side by side or two column or or one column depending on how you want your own to be then you leave this choice option like just leave it like this then this is where you add your questions your choices if your choices is more than three then you can you can edit these things you can just write one bottle, you know, stuff like that, two bottles, three bottles. But if it's, it's more than three bottles, you, you can still add choices. You click on the plus sign, you add your, another choice there. Then if it, just, if, it, if it is only two choices, you can still as well remove it and remove this one as well. Very simple. So no much big deal here. Then, um, then the next thing is, uh, remember, required, very important, very, very important. Then um, the next thing, I think there is not um, any other thing. No, no. The, the next thing, if you want to ask a customer question, like if you want to get um, uh, a question from customer, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, if you want to ask, ask the customer a question or you want the customer to comment, you know, you can just add it, but it's not necessary. Uh, it's up to you. you can, from, if, you want, if you make a mistake, you can delete it from here delete it it's gone then remember if you are doing it save it you can see save you can just save your work just save it very important then the next thing is submission you go to submission this is form building then you click on submission settings come in guys this is submission settings. Then you, this is submit. If you want to put submit order, you click on, you know, put it. Yeah, you can see it has come out. Then confirmation option. Do you want to send people a confirmation message after signing up on your website, or do you have a place you want to redirect them? If you want to send them a confirmation message, let's say after they're filling the form, they will receive message like, "Thank you for filling out." the form, your response has been recorded. You can still remove this thing and put whatever you want to put um, uh, if you want to send me a confirmation message then. But if you are directing them to a website, or well, it is good to direct them to a thank you page. Very important, don't use confirmation message. Me, I'm using direct URL. You click on direct URL, then you put your URL here. The URL you are di uh, directing them to, that will, might be your thank you page, it might be your landing page if you are collecting emails or anything. Then the, another thing you need to check is notification. Notification is very important. Why? Right? Because you need to notify the customer. You need to notify the customer uh, whenever. Uh, 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 okay, sorry. Notification means uh, notify the customer. Sorry, notify the customer whenever he places an order. Whenever he places an order. So it might be it might carry a company's email. Uh, you can put from email any email okay sorry sorry okay notification means you getting uh the uh the order uh, you getting an order you understand let's say someone has filled form for you to get the details so you can just fill the persons you can just uh, uh, configure it from here the email the email means the email of the person filling the information on your website then two 
to the email you want to receive those uh, uh, orders from. You can put your business email, you can put your personal email, then the name of the, uh, of the email, you can just put order for pure Excel or order for uh, uh, anything you want. Then you click on entry details, include entry details. Include entry details means that they will send you the person's details, the person's information the person puts on the website. Then once you do it, you click on save. Very important. That, then another thing is confirmation. Confirmation is the one you are sending to a customer. You understand? Confirmation is one you are sending to a customer. Then notification is one you are getting from, you might be from, the customer received this information from, you might put your business name for this particular account. The business name, the business name is Nola Live Pure. That's a, for this particular account. Then this is the email, then two. You put it on the email to the email that play, uh, um, uh, uh, to the email that was typed on the form. Then you put a subject. A subject can be uh, uh, pure Excel. The message can be thank you for placing order. Our delivery uh, will contact you shortly for for uh, confirmation and delivery of your orders. Depending on whatever you want to put there, then you you won't click on entry details again. You won't click on it because this is the one the customer is getting. The customer is not supposed to get his details. You are the person supposed to get it. Then the next thing is to save it. You get it? You get it. So that is it. So there is no more hard thing there to build form. But if you already have form, instead of you, you know, trying to get yourself worked out, just copy from already existing form. Then change this currency to USD, very important. US dollars, so oh, sorry. Put it like this. Country, United States. So guys, um, this is it. I think there's no much thing there. Time zone is um universal time zone, West Africa. You to see. Okay, yeah. So the thing is, I think I'm done already. I'm done. So after that, you just save it. So for you to get this form, you remember the way I just showed you on how to click on post. On then after clicking on post, then you go and add new. Okay, let me show you this form now. Post, add new. This form I just created. Let me just show you. Click on cognitive form. Click here. You can see the form. You can see those for because though I didn't give him a long time, I will still delete it. I'll still delete it. But this is just for a test, for test purpose or teaching purpose. So this is the form. If you just click on it and just this is the code. You get it. So you just need to copy it and go to your sales page or thank you page or any anywhere you want to store it. Then you copy the script and code and put it there. Edit it and then paste this code and save it. Your 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 form will be live. So guys, this is it. Very simple. Very simple. And um there's no much big deal there. Um honestly I've I've explained this in details. The another thing I want to explain is how to um uh let's say how to uh, import how to import um sales pages so that you won't get suffering yourself in copying it. All you need to do once you get the 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 exported file. Okay, let me do one example for you. If an exported file is sent to you. And I said, I don't want to export anything now, but I don't want to have so many of the files on my laptop. Okay, this is how to export it. So let's say this is your uh, your source page. This is your page you are building. And you want to export this link. Okay, let's say you want to export this source page now. This particular source page now. This source page of arthritis. Then this is the, this is the uh, here is the, the link. If you want to export it, if you click on more actions, you click here, you have option duplicate, 
add split uh, test variation, blah, 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 a lot of things on publish, add to group. You just click on export. If you click on export, the, uh, this uh, website will be exported as a file, as a raw file. Then if you received it, for you to import it so that you won't, have, you won't be building all these things, as in suffering yourself, putting all these things, like building this thing from scratch. All you need to do, once you get the file in your laptop, all you need to do is come here. You click on, if you see this place, import. If you click on import, then choose file. You go and look for the file in your laptop. You go and look for the file. Here. Let me see if there's any file here. I've already imported already. Let me just check. Oh, there's no file though. Okay, so you guys want me to export this thing? No, I'll, let me just export them. I just export them. No, I'll, so that for so that you understand what I mean. No. So this is it. Let me export it. Export. You can see it's exporting. Allow it to download. It's like downloading. That's what exporting means. Okay, so let's go to import. If you click on import, boom. Click on choose file, bam. Then you type the name of that file, just type IB. If it's the first time of you doing it, just type IB. It will come out. What is it? Wait to. I be twins in what you are this thing. This network oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I stay in track or I just type IB. I've exported so many files. Just click here, upload, uh, open, then import now. If you click on import now, you see it. You'll be shocked now. If you have WordPress, you can see it. You can see it now. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. I've already imported it. Everything is there. Everything. So the next thing is just to publish it. If you save it, you publish it. But I don't need it. It's just for teaching purposes. Um. Then go back. I don't need it. Okay, so I guess you understand everything and um, how to do everything. So it's very easy, very easy. Just keep trying. Even though the one I, the ones I didn't teach you, just keep try as much as possible to do your best. Very, very important. Do your best. Do your best. Stretch yourself. That's when you get the full result that you are looking for. Do your best, do not relax, keep doing it. Even if you didn't get results, keep doing it till you get the result that you need because everybody has been getting results. So I think this is the end of this video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.